Welcome to the Server Crowd Podcast. This episode is about the Microsoft Management Console. We're going to go over some of the basic usages of the console. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to www.servercrowd.com slash post slash EP004 for a little better video and for a copy of these slides. So what exactly is the Microsoft Management Console? Well, it's a few things. Most importantly, it's the primary tool for editing Microsoft Windows Server configurations. Basically, if you're going to be changing settings, you're going to be doing it in the console. It's also incredibly customizable. A lot of the tools that you use will come with a management console already built. For example, Active Directory Users and Computers is a Microsoft Management Console. However, you can create your own and basically mix and match all the pieces and make what you want. And the last but certainly not least, it's on the test, 70-290. It's on the test, you got to know it. It's a big part of the test, I think. I don't know, I haven't actually taken it. So, what do we need to talk about first? Well, we need to talk about the design. Um, basically, it's made up of three main parts. And you can see that we have a screenshot with the... This is a blank console. And it's got a blank console inside of it. You can actually create... You can actually have multiple ones open inside of the same window. Um, but it gets confusing, so most people don't do that. Uh, it's got three main sections. It has the console tree, which actually has nothing in it, but this is where your tools reside. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit later. Um, then you have your details. Your details are going to be basically the settings within a section of the console. And then the toolbar, which is probably the least used section. And it's just got the buttons and menus. Now I'm going to do a demonstration. So I'm going to switch over to server 01. Okay. And let me resize this just to take as much advantage of the large screen space that we have. Alright, to get to Microsoft Management Console, go to Start, then go to Run, and type in MMC. Press Enter, and you'll be presented with a blank console. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this inside of here, and maximize the console. Now, this in itself is not very useful. It doesn't actually do anything. What you need to do is you need to add snap-ins. Snap-ins are the tools within a console. So I'm going to go to File, Add, Remove, Snap-in. And here we are at the Add, Remove, Snap-in screen. This is where you add the tools to the console that makes it useful. So by clicking the Add button, system will give us a list of all of the available snap-ins on this system. A word of note, if you install snap-ins into a console and save it to a network location for other people to use or for yourself to use, you need to ensure that the snap-ins are available on the machines that you're going to open them with. I know this sounds trivial, but if you don't have the management pack installed on your client workstations, you won't be able to use most of the server administration tools. That being said, we'll get into that with more details in a later episode. We're just going to worry about building management consoles to use on the server. So let's say that we're going to use Active Directory users and computers a lot we can add that directly into this console. 
Additionally, you could add the disk management and disk. You see that when we add the disk management tool, it comes up and asks me, what computer do you want to manage this snap-in with? Or basically that's what it's asking. And for now, I'm just going to say this computer. In the next video, we're going to get into using Microsoft Management Console to do remote administration. But for now, we're just going to administer the local computer. Let's also add Disk Defragmenter, the event viewer on the local computer.